Good morning, everybody. So, some of you have noticed I've been pretty quiet. Not this week, but a couple of weeks ago. I spent a couple of weeks really, really um, held back. Um, and I thought that so much has happened in the last couple of weeks, I better finally tell everyone what's going on. Because a lot of people are starting to wonder and ask a few questions. So, um, I have officially resigned from Jets at Milton. I spent two and a half, three years there and I am so grateful and so happy for what I achieved and how I grew and what I learned um, and I'm so grateful for my, my two lots of bosses that I've had since I've been there. Um, but I realised that it was holding me back tremendously and I got comfortable, I got, uh, I let it shield me from pushing myself and moving forward like I should. Um, it also added a little bit of pressure that I, I kind of didn't need to hold um, and I realised that I was getting to breaking point. Um, I love, I think I love spreading myself super duper thin um, and I realised that something had to give, something had to break um, and, and what a few people don't know is that I, I, I literally had a bit of a breakdown a couple of weeks ago and completely lost, lost my shit. I lost everything. I, I completely fell flat on my face um, and and had no idea where was up, where was down and what to do with myself. Um, I had to reach out. I had to reach out a lot to a lot of my uplines, my downlines, my sidelines, my family, my friends and I really needed to um, outsource because I know I had a lot of people saying to me, listen to your heart, listen to your heart, what's going on in your heart? and I know so many of you will be able to res resonate with me on this, but like sometimes you just don't freaking know. There is so much, there is so much turmoil. You've got like this tornado of chaos going on in your head that you can't hear anything. Nothing makes sense. Nothing gives you hope and nothing brings out your purpose, no matter what you do. So I really had to spend time falling apart. I really, really did. Like. Everyone who knows me knows I love eating. I love food. Usually my downfall is that I love food so much. And there were two days I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat. I couldn't figure out who I was. And I felt like I was dying inside. And, and I had to reach out to some of the most beautiful people. I am so fortunate in this life to have built a network around me of people who are just amazing. Amazing, you guys support me so much, so many of you in so many little ways, even just a smile in the gym to say hello and how you're going, even just um, pouring my coffee right or any of these things. So many of you people, my friends and family around me have just been such a lighthouse to me and, and I have to say, say thank you to each and every one of you because you all helped pull me through that. Without that network I had, have, I wouldn't have gotten to where I am right now. So they always, I always heard this sort of a thing, um, you know, in the face of, advers of adversity, um, if you push through, if you keep going, that's when greatness will happen. You just need to make a decision. You need to find a way to make that decision. Um, and and it's, it's, just, it's just proven to me this last two weeks that it's so true. Make a freaking decision. Find a way. If you have to talk to a million people, do it. If you need to write it in a book, do it. If you need to sing it to the rooftop, do it. Do whatever you need to do to find within yourself that burning desire, that passion, that effervescence, whatever it is. Uh, I mean, I know for years I had so many people telling me, like, Charlie, you're, you're so lovely, you're so vibrant, everyone turns to you, everyone turns to you. But the last month, I didn't feel that. I felt so isolated, so alone, I felt so lost. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't think I could motivate a freaking ant to walk in a straight line. Nor could I motivate my team. Now, I have to say, at this point, I've heard in so many of my trainings from my business that I have that, you know, um, everything will come to a standstill if you make it about you. And that's what I had done. I had so selfishly made everything about me. So at this point, I have to say sorry to my team, my Arvon team, and sorry to my clients because I became so bound up with my own crap that I made it all about me. But I brought all of you in with a dream, all of you in with a goal, all of you in with this effervescent life, light that I actually had something better for you all. And in being caught up in my own grief, I forgot that. And I also forgot the passion, the fire, and, and the, the, the drive that's giving me goosebumps right now that 
that I had for you all. And so as a leader, I now say I am sorry and it is no longer about me. Now everything is about you. It is about my friends. It is about my family. It's about the people in both of my businesses, my personal training clients. Get ready to really rock and roll your lives and make the most of everything. My Arbonne team, you are all my worth. I love you all so much. You have all taught me as much as I have taught you. And we are going to keep growing forever together because I'm not, I don't know everything, even though sometimes I like to think so. I am learning in this business every day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't sit there and go, oh my God, that's, that's gold. That's great. I need to tell someone. I need to share that with someone. And that was always my biggest most beautiful asset was the fact that I would learn something, it would hit my heart and my passion center, and I had to tell someone about that. So, if you're one of my friends that I have mentioned I want to, or mentioned it to in passing, or I messaged you and asked you to be involved, don't be offended, don't feel like I'm bothering you. I am so excited and so passionate about that, I have to share it with you. Because if I don't share this with you, and you later on down the track, see where I'm at and go, why didn't you tell me about it? Why didn't you actually seriously show me this option? Why didn't you show me what you were doing? That would kill me more than me dealing with you giving me that look or ignoring my text or not answering my phone call. So I'm sorry if that bothers you, but I'm here for a purpose and I found something that gives me a fire in my belly and if that makes you scared, then good. If that bothers you, then good. If you know me, you know that I am a communicator. I love you to talk to me. I love you to challenge me. I love you to give me your opinion. But know that what I do here is for something greater than you and I. Not many of you know that I was told that I may not be able to have children of my own at this age. I should have had it when I was 18. I made peace with that. And now my biggest drive in all of this is I want to be in a position that I can make a change. I want to be in a position where I can actually do something for the foster care system. I want to create something different because there are children out there that feel, and people out there that feel that they've been given up on, feel that they're not worthy, feel that they're not um, useful enough, feel that they don't deserve, feel that they haven't got the passion, the drive, because they feel like everything was taken away from them or wasn't given to them in the first place. And that's not okay with me. Same with so many of my adult friends. None of you see your potential. And I like to believe that I do. So I'm sorry if I might make people feel uncomfortable every now and then when I push a subject or I, um, I offer something or I advise something. So many of you know that with nutrition, if I start talking to you about food and I suggest something, I'm doing it out of the best of my heart because I can see that something is holding you back. And if I can find any way or if I can recommend a person or a, pro a process or a, a practitioner that might help you out to get to somewhere better, I'll do that. That is me. I'm a sharer. I'm a carer. That's what I'm all about. It gets me going every day, realizing that I could have the potential to change someone's life. Even if it's just smiling at that grumpy person that walks past me every day when I get a coffee. I'll do it. I don't care if I look silly. I'll do it. Because it might make a difference. I went to a seminar on the weekend and it was... It blew my mind. I'll even give him a shout out. EQ Events, um, a personal success um, seminar. Two intense days. But i tell you what, it broke down my walls. It took me back to where my hold ups are. It took me back to what was my initial problem and helped me to realize where my psyche was and what my rotation was and where I kept getting stuck and how to break through that. So I have to start sharing that with you guys. My Arbon team, get ready. I want to help you all get over those hiccups. I know that me stepping back and taking time to be selfish was hard. I had to figure myself out and realize what I was doing right and wrong and how I could best help so many of you. So just know I'm here now and uh, it's, it's not about me anymore. It's all about you, friends and family included. Um, I know that a true leader leads by example. I spent the weeks prior to that breakdown going, my team aren't doing anything, my clients are dropping off, I'm, why isn't everyone doing anything? They told me they wanted this, they told me they wanted greatness and why aren't they doing it? And I thought I showed them everything and there's a system and they haven't done it and where? I realised I wasn't in activity either. I was stuck in my own crap and letting it hold me up. 
This is when I realised that we all have our crap. And I'm not saying that everyone needs to do things 24-7. That was my other hiccup, was I was trying to do things all the time. Constantly trying to do everything. We have to realise our value and value our time. And, and that's when I realised that um, I need to grab my diary and start cutting things. So personal training from a gym out. I train a few clients around my work. I've now had a position coming up in a company that is going to be outstanding as of right now money. So yeah, I want to now touch on the subject of people going, and I've had so many of you question me going, what about your art bomb business? Isn't that going off? First off, it is. It's amazing. I had someone question me very close to me recently going, do you think you could just give up your art bomb business and focus on your personal training? Do you think that you could actually just put your whole heart and soul into that and that would take off? Yeah, it would. It really would. I'd be fucking amazing at it. But I'd be awake at four in the morning, if not earlier, and I would not get home until nine o'clock at night. And my energy would be sucked from me 24-7 with no results. Yes, my, I'm sorry, my clients would be, would be flourishing for that. But at the end of the day, I have bigger goals than that. My goals go past this life that I have right now. I have so much more in me. So my Arbon business, my little lipstick business that, you know, is a, a bit of a side project, it's a five or ten hour a week project. It's a five or ten hour a week business that will grow substantially over time to then take over any income I've ever earned. And I've worked in the mines. I've earned great money. But I can see the potential in this more than anything. So no, I'm not going to give up my lipstick business. I'm not going to stop sharing it. I'm not going to give up on it because I have a team of amazing people already and I can see so many new amazing people that I want on my team, that I want to be able to choose to work with. And that is amazing. We will go so many places. So, in to conclude, I'm ready to rock and roll. Some big changes. I've now opened up a website is happening with my personal training, my mobile PT. Um, I'm going to be doing a fair bit of online work with that, 15 minute workouts, woo! Um, and I'm also working on some bridal boot camp concepts. I'm also working on um, building my teams with Arbonne globally. We are actually expanding into a couple countries this year, which is really exciting. Um, and I have also got my Facebook page, my Shana Ballistic Habits mobile PT page. I know it's a mouthful. Um, is now launching out, so that'll be a big database for me as well. Um, and so there's some really exciting things coming. But if anything in there gave you a jolt, anything in there made you feel queasy, made you feel uneasy, um, if there's anything in there that you went, oh my gosh, yes, come talk to me. I, ch I challenge you. I dare you. Step outside what's going on in your life right now and, and, and think about making a difference. I'm not saying join me in Arbon, join me in PT, but hey, maybe my experiences might do something just for you. It's a world that we all live in and we all have to take our own part in making it different, making it better. Because right now I know so many of you are not feeling it. Are not feeling that passion, that love, that drive. And I know so many of you have dreams and goals too. So maybe my pain and my stuff ups and my um, ups and downs of my roller coaster ride can actually help you in some way to be a better person and a better version of you. On that note, I'm going to shut up and let you be.